Good break off. I'm sure Robert Milkins didn't come out here for this session with uh, great expectations, but he'd like to show a bit because uh, to qualify up in uh, Prestati to get here, he's been uh, practicing hard for this. And he hasn't really showed any of his uh, normal form. But uh, with reds like that, he keeps leaving Mark on, they won't be out there long. Missed that by quite a while. Yeah, he's been a professional 10 years and he's such a great fluent player when he gets going, but well, it's virtually a lost cause for him here. But as you said, Terry, it's always nice to show the Crucible crowd what you can do. So he'll be a little bit embarrassed at the, at the score line here. Yes, it can be a very tough game at times. Eight. No. But he's sitting at uh, number 28 in the world, and he's still provisionally 28, so he's stayed in the top 32. But I think Mark Williams' uh, plan over the next couple of seasons will be to try and get back 16. to the number one spot that he held. 70. He's one of these, Mark. He makes the game look ridiculously 22. easy when he's going well. Mm. Not the best of angles to go into them, but he wants a half ball contact on the red that's at the back of the bunch. He doesn't want to hit that full ball if he goes into them here. Not bad, just watch, he's a little bit thinner than he intended, that's why the whites ran away a little bit, but he's queuing so well you wouldn't expect him to miss this. <coughs> Not a bad start, five reds, five blacks. Just a wee bit short, but he's still got... Well, I thought he'd got one to the middle, but the pink's blocking that. So that could spoil the possibility of Mark's first ever maximum break in tournament play. There's 14,000 pounds for the highest break in this year's Embassy World Championship. And that, 65. I was gonna say, I thought he'd played for the pink, but he's got a bigger prize on his mind. Thank you. 
two. I'll tell you one thing, the crowd know exactly what's happening here, but can he somehow force an angle to get back up to the black? I think he might be able to just miss the green, but can he drop on the black? Oh, he needs a flick on the red. A flick on the red would help it. 73. <laughs> he was going to stretch around there and put the cue underneath his body, but he can still he can still pull this shot off. It's a very very thin one, but there'll be a big round of applause if this drops in. I can tell you. It's there. It's there. Eighty. Eighty. The prize at the World Championship has always been one four seven. That's 147,000 pounds if you make 147 break. Where's this cue ball going? Oh, it's another difficult 88. one. It's there. He's already in the last 16, the frame well and truly over. Well, I'm sitting in the commentary box with the former world champion here who 96. coaches Mark Williams. Terry, there's never been a Welsh 96. player has made a 147 at the Crucible. And he won't get a better chance than this. Perfect, they are now. He's going to take the more difficult one. He's perfectly on this to get back for the black. Good thinking, this. Get in. 105. Well, I think Robert Milkins would love Mark Williams to make a maximum here. I don't think a player has ever made one to clinch a match. 130. We've had six maximums in the World Championship. Yeah. 120. 120. Perfect. 122. Oh, it got a heavy contact slightly there. But he's okay. A little bit of history. He'll be the first ever Welsh player to make a maximum at the Crucible. Come on, Mark. Under hit it just a little bit. Get in.